hi guys good morning and welcome back to my channel so today is going to be okay i'm going to the market i want to cook so i said okay let me take you guys along right so let's go i am just wearing this face cap a t-shirt and changing my handbag and this I go to the market. When I'm going to the market, after using my sunscreen, and then I use my sun shades, then in view. But today I'm angry. I usually cover my face when going out because of the sun. And I can't be taking cabs every day. It's expensive. But still, so what's in it covering on my face? I still have sun. But I filmed this video a month ago, but iCloud collected some. That is why I'm just posting it now. This is me buying turkey, sorry, chicken, and then croaker fish. I got some tomatoes because I was going to make stew, some pepper, some tatashe, some shombo. Then I got um, vegetables, ugu, and water leaf because we'll be making idikai ko soup. I got beef too and well meat is so expensive now like hmm. so i stopped at this mass place i got stock fish and dried and fish too i got i got panla fish this is smooth smoked, smoked panla fish i got big dry prawns um i got stock fish too this is another i went to another place where we get stock fish the other mass one was quite expensive then i went to the one of our customers shop to get this um to get some veggies go granite oil ayola um sweet corn i got no seasoning cubes because we're running out of the ones we have at home guys things are so expensive this oil the last time i got it i think it was 11.5 i got this one for 13.5 like at this point i was already tired and hungry so normally i would get is some that's periwinkle but we have a guest who doesn't eat it so i didn't get it i just got a um, cow one cow leg then i went home this is me at home in the kitchen so in a pot i have my boiling tomato the other pot i have my chicken then the other one i have my stock fish cow leg beef and they also season this with salt some beef seasoning and onions that is all and now allow it to cook for like 30 when minutes when make it so we don't need water we are going to use the water leaf water as the liquid we need does that make sense so i have checked and there's no water in the meat it's it, it has dried up then i'm going with my pepper i have my pepper no sometimes or most times i like to blend my crayfish with my pepper and my onion together there's this flavor it gives you can try it too pepper and crayfish and they also have a mixture of the yellow pepper and the normal atarudo the red pepper that is how i cook my soup yellow pepper it gives flavor to the soup and i mix it with atarudo sometimes they're going with palm oil first some days i go in with the crayfish and pepper first so after that i'll put in my palm oil and allow it to cook for some minutes so while we are waiting for it to cook please go and do the needful have you subscribed have you subscribed to my channel please take a break and subscribe thank you now i am adding my dried prawns then i'll be adding my water leaf we are supposed to use the water leaf water <laughs> does that make sense but it's basically the water leaf juice or i don't know it's supposed to be the liquid we need for the soup so the only liquid we are seeing now is from the oil and the pepper mixture i put but as you can see there's no water in it so, so i'll stir 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 properly then allow it to cook because we need the water that is what we are going to use for the soup so i'll cover and allow it to cook meanwhile have you liked this video yet when I see your likes, it gives me the ginger, it gives me the morale to post more content. So please like this video. 
So the water we need to prepare this soup comes from water leaf and as you can see there is water already. <laughs> now I'll just add in my ugu. Edi Kai so we really don't like the leaf very soft because ugu leaves is better when it is it is more nutritional when it is still like fresh. Yes, it is cooked, but it's not like cooked cooked. So I don't really cook my leaves very for a long time because I'm still going to put it in the fridge. You can you can taste for salt now or maggi or any other thing, but the salt and maggi I use to cook the beef and the stockfish is always sufficient for my soup. <laughs> And one thing about the medical icon, when you make a little mistake, salt can embarrass you. So what I do is, the one I use to cook the beef is what I use. I don't add extra salt. So I'll add in my smoked panla fish, then one more stir. I will cover it and allow it to cook for like two seconds and then our soup is ready. Look at me, I'm frying chicken by the side because I'm making stew next. So, so there, there are different methods, there are different recipes for making a dikaiko. I have so many, but this is actually my go-to and it's very delicious. I didn't add perinko because of our guest. So guys, it's stew time. I have my pot on the fire and my granite oil and I just put in my onion one thing about me when it comes to stew i don't really waste my time because i've already parboiled the, the um, tomatoes and pepper for like 30 to 40 minutes that thing takes time i've already done that and i have noticed when i cook my stew for a long time it tastes it has this bitter taste i don't know if it's just me but my stew doesn't take time at all after parboiling my tomatoes so i'll fry my onion for few minutes then I'll go in with my pepper mixture pepper tomato onion and tatashi blended and parboiled so I'll go in with it and fry for some minutes like I said I already parboiled it so we don't really need to fry for a long time so I'll let it cook for some minutes then I'll add my seasoning cubes I'm using the maggi chicken I'll be adding just two the stew is really not much. I'll add two, two of it. Then I'll add a pinch of salt. Then I'll taste to be sure we have not put too much. <laughs> so next I'll be adding my curry masala. Curry masala has a mixture of curry, thyme, rosemary, and so on mixed together. So in some days I like to use the curry masala. So I'll add the curry masala. By now, my neighbors should be asking what is going on in this house. They should be asking what is happening in this house because the aroma in this house, oh my god. <laughs> so I'll stay, then I'll go in with my chicken. So I'll like to cook for some minutes and I'll see you is ready. I hope you guys enjoy watching this video. Please like, comment down below. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.